Hello, Music Bear here, um, with another Synet Sub FX thin, as I just like to call it, video. And this time we are going to look at um, these no here dials here on uh, our LMS user interface, uh, the bandwidth, the FM gain, the resonance center frequency, and the resonance bandwidth. Why aren't they working? for every instrument and how can we get them to work right so here we have our AdSense um, voice parameters and what we're going to look at here is um, first of all we're going to change this shape that here we go in here and um from sign we're going to change it to saw and we're going to add some sound because if we don't it's pretty stupid so there we go 100 percent yeah it's playing okay we we'll get a little bit more must to this in a few seconds, I just have to put it on the right value. Um, so let's take this guy forward again. Um, you remember we have looked at this several times um, and we have also talked about how to change the uh, various um, um, waveforms here in the waveform selection we have these waveforms to select from. We are chosen a saw and I'm going to make that saw a little bit more interesting uh, from a uh, dance music viewpoint because this saw is pretty, um, well, what do you call it, violin um, oriented and we want a more harsh sound when we talk about a, a dance music saw. That is done here because we can force the attack of the waveform into a part of the waveform that isn't on zero. So if I turn this parity knob all the way over here, we'll get a much more um, aggressive sounding uh, saw. And remember that when you when, when you make your source it's, it's a good idea to turn the parity over here also a lot of chances to here to do other things we could just briefly mention it uh, this means that I'm making an overtone you can see here that this is now also hear it listen There's an overtone if I take it down again, listen. Actually if I right click here, it will go to the zero position. It's only this array that works like that. Okay, so it actually means the same as if I had added a um, an additional note in an uh, octave higher. I can move this spectrum with uh, a face knob here very easy to see unless uh, this is outside the view it isn't um, and also I can um, nil it out um, with uh, a right click here I'm going to show you something fast and beautiful I'm going to add a couple of others not that one because if you want total harmony we should take them like this Okay, and some facing, it's um, not really that important. Um, I'm just... See, now I have told you before that there only exists one, only one um, waveform exists, and that is a sign. Everything else is just variations of sign, and with a matrix-like the one we have here, if we had 
infinite numbers of sliders, we would be able to create any waveform uh, at all. And it happens to be so that Synet SuperVex can demonstrate that. I'm just going to show you because it's pretty funny. So we will take it here and say convert to sign. And I say yes. It's inside. And then if you look at the spectrum, you see here that it is now approximated the shape of the waveform, but it is done by converting it to a sign. And we can see what it what it is needed to convert it to a sign. It is all these sliders has been alternated or, or, or altered not alternated but altered by uh, the the the, uh, the code and that will approximate a sign so ev every annoying every uh, every uh, existing or imaginable uh, w uh, wave pattern can be constructed from the sine wave and we can go back to the sine wave again. We then go over here and we say clear. And it says clear the harmonic settings and I say yes. And when we take it back here again we can see that it has now cleared it right back to the sign. We wanted a saw. So we're going to put in a saw and we want another parity. So we are going to change that parity. So we're right back to uh, what we was actually going to use. We're going to take a look at the bandwidth because bandwidth is not working now. If we take a look at our, uh, our sin here, sorry, our LMS elements, and we change the bandwidth. Listen, no, and quite a lot of instruments that you have in the uh, factory presets will have it like this. Down here. There's no bandwidth. We can't uh, uh, get any uh, uh, effect out of this knob. What to do? Oh, let's put the one back again. Down here in uh, our voice parameters, we have something called unison, and we have to change that from off to any of these values. Um, when we change this value here, it actually means that we are getting harmonics of the chosen uh, voice uh, and we can get up to size 50. That's a lot and it's actually also going to need a pretty good um, CPU. About 20 is a, uh, a, an, an insane high value but you shouldn't go higher. Normally it's something in here in between uh, 6 to 10 or something like that. But for the fun of sake, let's just take 15. It's easier to hear then. And we're going to pull it up um, here. And already you can hear. Listen. So now we have bandwidth, this knob activated. 